What's going on y'all? It's a Friday here in New York, just hanging out at the RV. We think we want to go look for some waterfalls, but we're not sure yet. I'm going to make some chicken and bacon on the Blackstone, taking care of black tanks. Got our friends on the move. On the TV is they're exploring Yellowstone. Just hanging out. There's an impending rain coming, and it's probably going to get here any minute. It's kind of, uh, it's kind of discombobulating. Is that the, a good word? It's like we want to go do stuff, but we just not sure we can. It's like a 50% to 70% chance of rain is going to happen. Is it? Will it? It's frustrating. How do you deal with days like that? I think that our, our closing mantra of life happens, don't let it stop you, should almost be something we should be repeating to ourselves right now, right? <laughs> the potential for rain happens. Don't let it stop you. Yeah, I know. I feel like it's stopping us right now, and I'm kind of giving myself a kick in the pants. Let's just get out there, drive around. If we find something cool to look at, check it out. If it starts raining, run back to the truck. I think that's how this day is going to go. So hang out with us for today, won't you? Right now, like I said, I'm making bacon. That's almost done, and I'm going to start some chicken thighs, and Kaylin's warming up some Boston baked beans inside for us for a quick protein-filled lunch. And then uh, we'll go explore. So I prefer to use chicken thighs. This is something that I learned from Chipotle. The chicken thighs has a little bit of a higher fat content. It's a dark meat and it helps hold the juiciness into the chicken a little longer. Chipotle pretty much just uses chicken thigh for that purpose because when you go to a Chipotle and you see all that meat out there on the line, they're trying to keep a juiciness to it longer. It's very tough, <laughs> not tough, I mean, it's tough. It's difficult to do chicken breasts in a manner where you get a nice juicy chicken breast that's completely done and not completely dry. Chicken breast is the highest concentration of protein out of any food, any food. It beats everything. There's more protein in chicken breast than anything else. But for flavor wise, if you want everybody to fully enjoy their chicken, I think chicken thighs is probably the best option. I like a boneless chicken thigh, easy to cook up. This is exactly what Chipotle does. Uh, the only thing, and I could never share the secret of Chipotle with you because the marinade that we used to marinate that chicken was the secret recipe. We received it in a plastic pouch and we didn't even know what was in that recipe. So all I can do is, is make my attempts or efforts to mimic it. But today we're going simple. Today we're just going with uh, a light coating of iodized sea salt and Mrs. Dash chicken seasoning. And those two lonely pieces over there, those are Kira's with just salt. She sees anything else on them, she kind of like, she's afraid they'll be spicy, so she just stays away. I think I overcooked the bacon a little bit, but I think it'll be all right. I like a nice crispy bacon. You know what, I'll eat any bacon, any kind of way. Bacon is bacon. Mwah, bacon. Bacon, 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 bacon. Just still watching some more on the move. Oh, I know where they were. They were off in Wyoming at like one of the most photographed barns ever. If you haven't heard of on the move, on the Mew, their last name is Mew, which our kids love because that's the name of a very powerful Pokemon. Uh, we met them through the YouTube community and then we got to meet them in person, which we'll be sharing with you soon because I've completed all of our Georgia footage and now it's time to start putting together our South Carolina footage from when we got to hang out with the Mew family and the McGuire family. That is gonna be some fun stuff. So I'm looking forward to getting that stuff edited up. Some of that may be like, what does this have to do with RVs? Just know that this is a fun group of people. They're so much fun. I couldn't even capture all the fun. It was great. So looking forward to that. All right, back to cooking. We're gonna need to put some tick stuff on Daisy. I figured she probably was having a problem out here, but yeah, I definitely pulled a tick off of her today. Time to get some Advantix. We definitely could be doing a better job of keeping up with that. So I'm pretty sure that I know what poison ivy looks like, but I'm not an expert. So let's uh, go out to all of you and ask you, do you know what poison ivy looks like? And can you help me identify what I've been calling poison ivy and see if it's true or not.
I do know from research that it is capable of climbing up a tree like this. But I'm seeing a three leaf pattern with some jagged looking edges. And it's really, it's all around us. Pretty sure Daisy's laying in some right now too. But yeah, I've been calling that poison ivy. Like I said, three leaf pattern, some jagged edges leaves. If you know what this is, if you agree with me, then let me know in the comments. Uh, if you think it's something else or you know it's something else, help, help a guy out. I would love to know more about this. I like to know when I go into a situation if I'm looking at something that could be a potential problem. So been talking to the girls about it and I know that there's more than just poison ivy out there poison oak poison sumac there's a number of different plant species that can cause great irritation so yeah if you know what that is let us know but I'm pretty sure it's probably all around me here And Daisy's probably laying it because I see a number of jagged edge leaves, three leaf patterns. Chicken is almost done. Take a look. Mm -mm. Time to start temping it. All right, everything is over 165 degrees, which is your, your minimum. They were all hitting at least like 177. A little trick I learned from a guy that runs a food truck up in Colorado. When you want to keep it warm, turn this side off, turn this side to low, close it down. What that'll do is you'll maintain some nice juicy chicken on this side. And yeah, it's still using some propane, but just kind of use this until everybody's ready to eat. So I'm pretty sure the baked beans are done. I just need to go in and check, make sure everybody's ready to eat. We don't have a whole lot of other stuff, but we were just trying to throw this together real quick. I'm literally feeling little droplets right now. Time to put the camera away and start getting ready to eat. Rain happens. Don't let it starve you. Eh, 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 no. I'm all alone in the living room. It's just me on the couch with the big TV. <laughs> the rain kicked up pretty good. Came kind of off and on after I got done cooking the chicken and the bacon. And it just kind of turned into a chill day at the RV. It's kind of nice. It's nice and relaxing. The girls went in their room and were watching Pokemon and somehow Tanya wound up in our room watching videos on our TV and I wound up watching Star Trek movies on the couch. This is just a, this, that's what a day in the rain in an RV looks like. You know, if you pick out a good RV like this where we've got enough separation, I mean, this thing feels like a mansion. It may be like 400 square feet, but it's designed well to give us this this space. Seriously, I feel like I haven't seen the girls in like three hours and they're literally just right there in their room. I can hear Pokemon playing on their TV. Uh, Tanya's been up there. I think she's chatted with our son. He just, uh, if you've followed along, our son just got a new car. It, there were a few videos back I talked about his car being stolen a while back, so he just got a new car, so she's been talking to him about that. And I've just been chilling out here, like I said, watching old Star Trek movies. I'm a I'm a sci-fi guy. I, I don't pick between Star Trek and Star Wars. I like them both. But hey, I guess uh, I guess that's what the day is. I guess you could say I didn't let the rain stop me from getting out and cooking. It, it it was perfect. God's timing was perfect. It was like, get out there, cook the chicken, get the bacon done, dump the tanks, get back inside. Because it started coming down like right after I shut down the Blackstone and took the chicken off and came inside. Not a bad day. Nice and relaxing. Hopefully tomorrow to clear up some more. I am going to be a little bit bummed if we don't go off and see some waterfalls, but while it may be getting close to the end of our time at this park it's not close to the end of our time in New York we're gonna hop around to a few more places there still be plenty of opportunities to go find some waterfalls the big waterfalls that we want to see are closer to where we'll spend more time in late July there's a number of and I'm not just talking about Niagara Falls there is a couple of epic waterfalls I want to go see hopefully we can capture all that for you 
But in the meantime, thank you all so much for watching. Remember, life happens even a rainy day. Don't let that get you down. A little twist there, huh? Maybe? All right. Thanks again for watching. Stay fresh, cheese bags.